Holly Face Pug YouTube channel. I am Anushruti and I am a cosplayer and a lot of other things. Well, this will be my entry to the next Face Awards and a lot of thought went into this while creating this character over a lot of people. So if you want to know how I created it, keep watching. So first, we put on a wig cap to get all the hair out of our face so that it doesn't stick on our face when we are putting on the makeup. I generally like to tie a knot on the top. Next, we move on to contact lenses and I will be using these pink contact lenses that look like flowers. Now, because I don't like my eyebrows, we are going to block them out. And we are going to use a fevy stick to do that. First you put on the fevy stick and then you use a spoolie to comb all your hair upwards. Next you have to powder them down so that you create a smooth surface for whatever makeup is going to go on top of them. Next we prime our face, body, hands wherever you're going to be using the makeup. This creates a smooth skin finish so then you can apply your makeup easily. Now we move on to the foundation. I generally like to put on my foundation using a beauty blender. First putting the makeup on my hand and then on with the beauty blender onto my face. Next we are going to be highlighting the face. I generally like to highlight under my eyes, a little bit under my chin, the bridge of the nose. I wouldn't be contouring here because I will be using another color to contour later on in this video. You're going to blend all of that concealer out with a beauty blender again. And with the trusty powder brush and the loose powder, you're going to powder everything down so we have a smooth surface to work with. Now I'm going to be taking this cream face paint. You don't need anything else to activate it. It's just in a cream form so it's really easy and smooth. I'm going to be using a small angle brush to draw out the main pattern and then I will be slowly taking the color upwards towards the middle of my forehead now generally when you're using cream based paint you need to set it with some kind of powder or eyeshadow whatever you prefer here I will be setting it up with some translucent loose powder go over the detailing over my nose which I drew using cream based makeup I'm going to be taking a small lip liner brush and just powdering that down next we're going to take this black eyeshadow that has some blue glitter in it and just extending that color to the center of my forehead yay next that's the night on the town palette I will be taking a very magenta color and just extending the color again towards the middle of my forehead. Once you are done you should look something like that and I am extending it a little bit on top of my forehead as well. Next taking the lip liner brush again, obviously cleaned, we are going to be making some small details on the nose part again. Taking a brown lip liner, I'm just going to be outlining the design I want on my cheeks. Which I will be colouring with uh, water based paint. Using a small angled brush, I'm just going over the same outline that I drew using the lip liner.
taking the same magenta eyeshadow that I used for my forehead. I'm going to be going over the outline again just to give it a little more shadows. I designed this little small thing for my forehead so I'm just going to be drawing that with a pen eyeliner. It's really easy to use and works like a brush pen so pretty cool strokes huh? Back again with the palette. Now we actually use it as eyeshadow instead of body paint. Going over the outer corner of my eye, first packing the pigment down and then taking a fluffy brush and just blending it out. Sorry about me picking up the mirror again and again. I will be dragging the same color down a little bit along my nose. Taking some copper color cream based paint, I'm going to be putting that over my lids. Now setting that down with a satin powder and dragging the same color near my nose, under my eyes. Going on the lower waterline, I'm going to be using a brown matte eyeshadow. Lining the lower waterline completely with the NYX gold jumbo pencil taking some gel liner and a lip liner brush again I will be lining my eyes the line shouldn't be too thick or too thin just the right amount to draw out my wing, I will be using the pen eyeliner again because it's much easier to use. Just in the corner of my eye, I will be adding some more dark pigments. Back with the eyeliner pen. Drawing out some more details. I just did whatever came to my mind, you can do. Now as I made mine look like hollows, I'm just going to be filling them up with that black eyeshadow again. So that it gives the feeling of depth. Taking that same eyeshadow down to my jawline and a little bit down my neck. This helps fat people. Now drawing out some lines under my eye. First with black, then we go back in with the cream color palette with some dark reds some purples and maybe some oblates. Taking the same color on the side of my nostrils to make it look a little more flared up and give you that angry look. Now I'm just drawing squiggly lines near my chin along the jaw. Going in with a very off-white cream-based color again. Just highlighting some parts of the logo and some more parts of the forehead design. Taking the same color, I will be drawing a small semicircle on my nose. 
till the Cupid's book. Does anyone remember these weird liquid kumkum that our grannies used to use on us? Yeah, they are really nice for detailing. Just letting you know. I used red, some white, some purple. Taking a big foundation brush and dipping it in water, I'm going to be using some water activated face paint and just taking the black color and going down my neck till my chest and shoulders. Taking a more flesh tone color, slightly reddish. I will be going over my shoulders and my arms. Putting on lashes, the most difficult thing ever, huh? Always set it with mascara so it just sticks together. Taking a black lip liner, I'm going to be lining my lips first. Small contouring on the lips. And then filling it in with some black lipstick, liquid lipstick, which smells like vanilla. I had made some small latex pieces to basically look like scales and I had cut them up in just squiggly lines and weird shapes. Now I'm just going to be putting some liquid latex on the back of it using a q-tip and I'm going to be sticking it on my chest. Take as many as you want. I do. Just keep sticking. Just keep sticking. But those are too many. Now taking some copper color hairspray that I got for free from somewhere. I'm just going to be using that over my hands. Just to give it that extra splash of glitter. Taking some small little pearls, I'm going to be sticking them randomly on my face. For example, on my nose. Maybe some on my cheeks as well. Huh? Yeah. That, that looks like a good highlight of this. And here you go. This is the completed look. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe.